Hey everyone, this is Justin, and um, I've never really done a commentary track on my process videos because I always speed them up and uh, don't really have much to say, but I thought I would do one for all the pages of the coloring book I just put out called Keep Your Heart Safe, and it was a coloring book that I came up with during covid and the quarantine, which we're still in, by the way, it's not over. But I just felt like I wanted to do something to, mm, what's the word, uh, feel useful during this time, which I didn't at all. And um, I came up with this this book, Keep Your Heart Safe. This is me working on the cover. I am using my iPad and the app Procreate, and um, I'll be chiming in here on all the pages. I'm a big fan of texture, as you can see. I like putting in little lines everywhere, and really Procreate is a great app for experimentation, playing with the line, playing with brushes. Look at me trying to figure out how to draw a flower, and then I don't do it. Let's go on this journey here. Okay, uh, wash your hands. This was the very first coloring page I did before it was a book, a complete book. Um, you know, we were in this crazy time, and, and uh, in the beginning, it was all about washing your hands, and the proper way to wash your hands and you know you should do that anyways um, so I wanted to use my heart characters to create a coloring page that represented this uh, simple instruction of wash your hands and um, you can see me figuring it out here I like procreate because I can cut and, and retool and shape uh, without having to switch to an eraser, I can, you know, it's just like an all-in-one kind of thing with this Apple Pencil. So it's been really fun to play with and adjust sizes. Um, a lot of the times the uh, text is um, drawn by hand. Um, I think in the in the the first the 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 cover I, I used um, font for at least one or two of the words but for this one for most of these I tried to um, you know play around with uh, creating my own letters and that's something I'm not very good at so uh, you know it's really good practice when I was working on these pages you can see here I, I, I drew the sink overlap and then it just immediately got erased because I, I work put things on layers and then here's my clever uh, germ be gone hand soap I'm a big fan of puns I guess it's not really a pun it's not a very good name for soap either <laughs> Um, so yeah, again, I, I, I would put things on layers, like a foreground ink layer, a background ink layer, and then um, just, because I didn't want to interrupt the flow of the line, right? So like, I didn't want to stop where the sink would be, I would just draw right through the sink and then erase the, the overlap. Because I don't really want to interrupt that process, interrupt that flow, so... The ability to draw an ink on multiple layers in this program is awesome. It I feel like it works really well for me. This is probably one of the longer ones because I was just, you know, trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And um I'm very meticulous when it comes to the pencils. I know a lot of people like to use very loose and rough pencils, uh, but I, I try to keep mine pretty tight to the final inks and leave um, just a little wiggle room to explore with the ink pen. 
uh, I think it's a compulsive thing, like an OCD kind of thing. Here I am trying to just figure out different word uh, stylings for this, and I wanted the wash part to be uh, very wet. I wanted the wash part to uh, look like water. So yeah, that was the first. This was the first one I, I drew. Okay, stay connected. Uh, this was another coloring page that was sort of inspired by by the, some of the phrases going around during quarantine. The idea of hopping on and doing Zoom calls to connect with your friends and family to which you can play games, um, which was good. It was helpful, and it, it kept us sane, you know, staying connected with our close family and friends uh, right at the beginning of this quarantine. Truly, it was sort of the best way that the Internet was being used. Uh, it was being used as the utility that it was intended for it, which was, you know, passing along information and, and staying connected. It was good to see everyone kind of band together and, and, and hop on this Zoom and, and like really use the technology. Um, so a lot of the smileys and the emojis, I would try to keep all the same. I think it was too fast to see, but it, I think I just copy and pasted most of the emojis. Um, I like the stay in the stay connected. It reminds me of a hotel. Um, so that was a really fun word balloon to draw. Yeah, this was a fun one to do as well. This one, the play games, um, I actually used reference here. You can see that. Uh, that was another thing that uh, Nicole and I, my wife, we would uh, do to pass the time is, is play board games. We have a lot of two-player board games, and um, we unfortunately don't have Jenga, which I I love Jenga. I want the big, like, outdoor version where the blocks are really big and the towers, like, five feet, but it's really expensive, and we can't go outside right now so it'd be kind of dumb to play it but <laughs> um i had i was struggling to try and make this work this idea of the letters or the blocks forming the letters play games so i cheated a bit in in the sense of making i because i at first i was trying to make the pieces all connect and i was like well i'm like it's just a drawing i could play around with it as much as i can and, and really i used the texture and, and the gaps and the holes to um, help shape those letters better. And uh, this one was probably one of the harder ones that I had to do. But I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed creating it. I thought it was a, a fun one to uh, play with, play with and, and, and really separating the letters with the block lines just gives the colorer, colorist, uh, m you know, more objects to color. When you're creating a, a coloring page, uh, I find it's it's good to really push um, texture and shape because, you know, you run a crayon or a marker over it. It changes the value of it uh, in a way. So, like, if you sort of run a, a, a yellow over the, the lines, the textured lines, you'll get sort of like a darker a darker color um, just because the texture adds so much shade. I really like how I drew Thump here. Um, I think it's always fun to play with his expressions and really stretch the emotions. Real heroes wear masks. Uh, this, like, if you look at this one right now, you can see me trying to figure out placement of everything. Usually when I do a drawing, even if it's intended to be digital, um, I'll pencil it out first, and th this is actually, and I'll, I'll scan those pencils and, and try and put them in to procreate and work off of that. But this one, I was doing everything digital from the roughs to the pencils. I, I didn't even do pencils, I went from roughs to right to inks um, because I was looking to 
put this out as quickly as possible because I wanted it to be available for all the kids and families who were stuck at home during quarantine. And, you know, I had already intended to um, donate all the money I made off of this thing to um, charities uh, that were helping in, in during this pandemic. So like Direct Relief, which helped nurses and healthcare workers uh, with pro providing them with a proper PPE. And then the other one was the Bink Foundation, which was helping independent bookstores and comic stores uh, during the COVID, the whole COVID thing, helping their employees stay afloat and helping their business stay afloat. Uh, so here's this all trial and error of just trying to figure out how the words, the words, the phrase is going to fit on the page because I didn't really leave a lot of room. And uh, this was me just kind of working things out. I was basically workshopping it. And then, boom, the uh, word balloon, bring it back to comics. This one's probably going to go real fast. It was um, sort of an homage to those Schoolhouse Rock and, uh, uh, I think Schoolhouse Rock, yeah, the the sort of titles of Schoolhouse Rock and, and um, drawing this real positive thump saying, you know, everything's going to be okay. So this one was more focused on the letters, uh, which I had really f a real fun time working up and, and looking up old school references to school, school, schoolhouse rock. Did I say school of rock, school of rock earlier? I meant schoolhouse rock. You know what I meant. Uh, or the Jack Black movie, whichever one. Anyway, you notice that I didn't draw the cape or the plus sign because I wanted to focus on the letters. And then this was a bonus page I did after the book was completed. It's called Look for the Good. It is an homage or uh, inspired by the new Jason Mraz album, which dropped uh, during quarantine, or at least the single did. And uh, my wife and I would play the song every day to uh, help our mental state, just keep us staying positive and hopeful. And um, the album cover is uh like a little square rainbow frame with like a mirror in the middle sort of reflecting back um on you because the song and the album is asking you to look for the good within you as well as all around so um i drew this as a bonus page for my patrons and they were able to download it and um I think Jason actually put this on his Instagram, which is really cool. I don't know if you know, but we're like super best friends. We're not really, but uh, he follows me on Instagram, and that was the craziest thing ever. Oh, the little um, circle here on the roof, the house window, that's a nod to uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, because um, there's that window that he touches, and... Uh, I was watching a bunch of movie, like quarantine type of movies, um, while I was home, or while I'm still home, so I'm still watching movies. Kindness is the new cool. This was also another bo a bonus page that uh, came from a phrase I heard somewhere or read somewhere, or it was a take on a kindness quote, and I w I wanted to do this one as another bonus page for my patrons. Um, cause a lot, uh, a lot of the time, uh, during the first couple, uh, weeks of quarantine, I was offering a lot of free content on my pa Patreon just because, you know, uh, times were tough and it was hard for people to subscribe to my Patreon. And so I offered a ton of free content, bloop, can't speak, a ton of free content like this, um, and I thought this was like a fun one for the kids to color. Very fonts. And here you can see I was using a lot of different fonts to, uh, instead of trying to draw all that out. All right, next set. So this was the second page of uh, coloring pages I completed. I did three to begin with, and it was the first one was the wash your hands, and then the second one was stay home. You know, the curtains are based on our curtains in the apartment, although they don't have hearts, they have diamonds, but I like that pattern, that repetitive pattern.
yeah, you get very in tune with what's going on outside when you can't go outside. So I did a lot of uh, watching of clouds and, and watching of very little streetcars um, just to feel like somewhat connected. And uh, any chance I can draw birds um, is always fun for me <laughs> just because... I, I don't think I draw birds very well, and I just kind of make it up as I go. And, uh, you know, that's fine. This one kind of looks a little bit like the uh, the good feathers from Animaniacs. And then this is supposed to be a hummingbird, I think. Anywho, um, yeah, and then more cloud, cloud font. I always love playing around with that stuff. Look at me trying to figure out if I should put a window uh, thing in there, and I'm like, no. So then this is the third page I did. Um, uh, what is it? It's read. And um, then this ended up becoming the... Part of this became the logo for Thump Reads, which was a series I was doing during quarantine where Thump was reading a bunch of children's books, kind of like a story time for kids because I was trying to fill the time of my of staying at home while being creative and putting out content for people, especially kids who are at home. Uh, it's a little Easter egg here. He's reading The Murder Balloon, which is actually not for kids. <laughs> but I thought I would throw in a little nod to um, uh, one of my other books here. Uh, you can never get enough Murder Balloon. So this was fun to workshop and figure out, and I always get, um, what is the word? I, word. I always get uh, sort of antsy when I start drawing um, books like on top of each other and stacked because I'm like, well, how do I make it look interesting? Like, do I have to write in all the spines? You know, stuff like that. And I was getting her, oh, look, at she's reading Harry Potter. So, yeah, I always um, try to figure out how I want to stack books. And then here I pulled a, a read font off the Internet. I like the way it looks, and I like how all the letters are connected at the bottom. So I thought this would be a fun font to incorporate into the image and put my own little spin on it. Practice social distancing. Uh... So yeah, this is like in the thick of it. I started to like decide. I was like, oh, I did three pages. And then the response was like, oh man, you should do more. Like these were great. The kids loved them. So then I was like, boom, let's do a whole book. Um, let's 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 uh, get this going and let's start getting through ideas of for pages. And I didn't know how many it was going to be. I just knew that I had a bunch of ideas. And then when the ideas stopped, that is when the book was done. So this was one of the ideas I felt was a strong one. It's a nod to two of my favorite films, uh, Say Anything and um, Love Actually. So you have Thump there with the boombox and the coat, and then you have LB there with the giant index cards that uh, Rick Grimes was showing to Kira Knightley. So this was a, another really fun one. I actually drew versions of these before with these characters because um, I used to do a lot of uh, I used to do these things called heart cards and they were you know exactly what they were they were just uh, cards based on movies with the heart characters and these were two of the cards there are a lot of elements in here that I like uh, but mostly the watery eyes is my favorite Stay creative. This was a kind of a fun one. The angle on here was was kind of hard to do because if you have, if you notice, like Thump actually Thump doesn't really have a body. Like his heart and head and and body are all the same thing. And like LB has a little bit of an extension. She's not just a head. She's a heart and a body. This was kind of tricky to figure out that. And you know, I do a lot of uh, foreshortening and I do a lot of like background foreground stuff so just to make the the drawings more interesting this was the crayon uh, brush that I did the stay creative stuff on so that was really cool to work on take time for yourself this was something that oh man I think I have to sneeze 
Ooh, bless me. Uh, cough into your elbow. That's going to come up later. So this one was for the parents, the take time for yourself, because I have a lot of friends who are parents and they were stuck at home with their kids, you know, and they still are going on like four months, you know. And um, I wanted to draw this kind of fun one of, you know, mom and dad, so to speak, trying to relieve some of that stress of, of being at home and and, and having to, to teach their kids uh, school while balancing work, their own work life. So this was sort of an image of two sides of that story of unwinding video games and uh, a nice bath and wine is, is always uh, a tension release. I thought this was fun. The wine glass and the headphones sort of being part of the word yourself. I like this idea of it being uh, split down the middle yet still feeling like a shared experience uh, trying to relieve that stress together or separate. And then here you go, cough into your elbow. Uh, this is what I just did. <laughs> this is really stupid. This was a... Uh, this, you could tell like the ideas were... Oh, there's a motorcycle. I don't know if you hear that. You could tell the ideas were starting to like, okay, this is probably going to be like one of the last ones. But um, this was just a stupid one because I wanted to draw Thump uh, giving a dab. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I think it worked out. Um, he's got that little sweat there. He's coughing into his elbow. And like literally when you do that, people look like they're dabbing. And like isn't dab the coolest thing in the world still right in 2020 i don't know i'm not good with the dances i'm sure um there's a million different dances now because of tiktok and uh, i'm not i'm not about that tiktok life sorry <laughs> so this is me again inserting the image into the phrase so you see the l is going to be thumbs hand uh and it's helps spell out the word elbow so this was another fun one. Uh, this was really fun playing with expression too. Just like showing LB, you know, without her lashes and stuff. And the disco ball because 70s disco and yeah. Um, I've never done one of these commentary tracks, so thanks for uh, tuning in. I also hate when sometimes... It's like a time-lapse video, and it's just, like, all music. Because, um, you know, I kind of want to know what's going on. Uh, this was, a, I think, another bonus piece um, that I tacked on towards the end. Probably one of the last ideas. Uh, and it was uh, in honor of our delivery workers, uh, male mailmen and women and our UPS drivers and all that who deliver our packages who you know are deemed essential this was me showing my appreciation my dad was a mailman a letter carrier for like 30 plus years and uh, so I I have respect for the post office even though um, it gets crapped on a lot hey they're trying their best they're trying to pass that information on so you just got to be patient with them and yeah they may be disgruntled but not as disgruntled as people who work at the dmv i'll tell you that um so yeah this was a fun one to do um i really tried to add a lot of elements for the uh colorist to work on and play with and um Seriously, thanks for all that they do, and thank you for listening to this commentary track. We'll see you on the next one.